Hi guys, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm not feeling very confident in my skin right now. Firstly, because I woke up with super dry skin. I don't know why I have like dry patches on my forehead and on my nose. So I think because last night I forgot to put on a moisturizer before I sleep. So the AC was like blasting on my face. And secondly, because my eyebrows are naked. But that's okay because this is the point of today's video, which is for us eyebrows not on fleek people tint my brows gel so this is apparently a brow tattoo that lasts lasts for i don't know how long this is supposed to last if i find out i'm gonna put it right here so i hope that this won't disappoint and more importantly that it won't fuck up my brows because my brows are pretty fucked up enough i might be going to bali next week so i'll be swimming a lot hanging out in beaches and I think this will come in handy because I can swim without worrying that my brows are coming off. So yeah. So without much further ado, let's try this out. Okay, I'm gonna start now. By the way, I forgot to tell you guys the most crucial information. I got this from Genie Up, which is an Instagram online shop. They sell a huge range of Korean makeup products. They sent me products several times already, so I know that they're trusted. So it comes out in like a gooey consistency. All right, let's go. I need to apply a liberal amount, it says, so that it's easier to peel off. Oh my god. There are a lot of like strings that sticks to each other, so it's really hard to pull it out of the bottle without like the strings following. Like you know the cheese on a pizza, when you pull out the pizza slice, that cheese follows through. It's like, look at that. That string, that string never breaks. It never breaks. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the other brow. Now this is gonna be difficult to make it both the same, but I'm gonna try. Let's do this. So this brow tint does come in different colors. The color that I have today is gray brown. Should I just, <laughs> should I just stop there? <laughs> One of them being like Cruella de Vil, one of them being like Cara Delevingne. <laughs> so this is the final look. I feel very pop art right now. Let's see how this fares in two hours and I'll check back with you in two hours. Hi guys! So it's been two hours. Two, two, not four. I'm back again, slightly oilier, slightly hungrier. And I'm ready to peel this off. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so scared. I think it's a little too dark. Oh my god. So I'm just peeling it off slowly and so far so good. None of my eyebrows are being ripped off. So yeah, this is what we have. It looks pretty natural. It looks like... Um, how if you had like eyebrow tattoo at a salon, this would be like day one of how it looks a little bit more bold. But I'm pretty sure that it will fade after a few days. It'll fade into a prettier gray color. So I'm not gonna lie you guys, I feel a little bit like Camilla Bell right now with the black brows. But the only thing I don't like is the color that I chose. I shouldn't have chose like the darkest color. I will recommend this to anyone that's like really insecure about their brows. They don't want to go out without their brows. Just put this on as a base for your eyebrow pencil. Also, I would highly recommend this to you guys that is like me going to a tropical island where you're gonna swim and do a lot of outdoor activities because God knows that my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow is does not withstand sweat and oil. Like it doesn't as soon as I wipe it off, it comes off with it. But this one is like, nah. Nah, it won't come off. So that's all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye! You like? It's interesting. <laughs> you don't like? <laughs> Why you don't like? <laughs>